Good, good. I feel like I'm going to die. Hell yeah. What's this for? This is the elevator. You can operate the elevator with the card you have now. Okay, okay. But do I need it right now? I don't think I do. I emulated hashtag host armor for you, good sir. Why, thank you very much, my friend. Will you record the minimum there? Yeah. Two right, I'm going to. Right. Hell yeah. Kobe. She is uncle. Oh, we found a living person. The circuit schematics to display the status of the emergency. Power supply currently is set to the basic power source of the facility. You can switch the supply destination of the emergency power to the third energy generator. Will you switch the supply destination? Head to bed, dude. Gonna try and sleep. Okay, my dude. Catch you later. Have a good sleep and chat next time we see you. Oh, this is Carplu KT. Suck. Put you down first. Have you there? Uh, researchers memo will you read it yes Kirk has been hiding everything from the researchers recently a demonstration of solidarity the b1 lab area staff have decided to investigate what Kirk and military personnel are up to as a start we managed to set a right a right wire tapping device at the parts storage area where they've been holding meetings and the device is sound activated and records automatically it can also play back the recordings it may be the best way to come up with some clues we need Kirk's ID card to check the generator we already know his registration number oh can you write that down for me Joe 314 oh okay yeah all we need now is to forge his ID card is fingerprint there okay oh is these is these boxes i can use here yeah ah <laughs> oh, i got enough plugs balls Uh, I'm just hobbing along, bobbing this on. Locked from the other side, okay, so I can't use that now. I wonder what's in this toolbox. Ah, okay, nothing. Nothing I can use anyway. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, another terminal that controls the generator. Will you operate? Yep, let's go. What do I need to do here? Okay. File site generator. What do you mean to file? Yes. Prepare the activate generator by operating the main panel on the upper floor. Move to be free area of the generator to set the initializer. Operate panel there. Finish. Yep. Stabilizer activate. Oh, okay. Okay, Koki, let's go. What the? F she, shit she shit herself. Yeah. She's been shot to death. She's not breathing. She's holding a memo written in blood. One, two, eight, one. Isn't that where I got the shotgun? Being handled by someone with bloody hands. Fingerprints can be seen clearly. Okay. I can roll with this. Mistress. Cut scenes, I can run like a beast. And then, yeah. Fuck okay, you! Oh. Actually, no, I forgot to do. Run up, um. There we go. Don't go backwards, bro. Don't move. Uh oh. And what do you think you're doing? Hello, Kirk. Carving a name for myself in history with the ultimate energy source. Open your eyes, you freak. Your precious creation is nothing more than another weapon to be misused. <laughs> you seem to have a small degree of superficial intelligence. It's too bad that it is wasted on one who is about to die. Rick, our target has been secured. Report here immediately. Sorry to interrupt your lecture, Doc. You were saying? Yes, I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space if it ran unchecked three years ago. I thought that the energy had the ability to transfer selective space to an alternate time-space continuum. But Man I thinks he's Doctor Who. The space was not transferred. It was exchanged. To put it in terms that even you can understand, third energy has the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. Precisely. And that is what I have done. Uh-huh. And how many people were sacrificed before you made this discovery? <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just say that there were many. Extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? Spoken like a true devil. A god or a devil? Hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiment. Enough. Only one thing matters at this point. Your grand invention is blocking our escape. You need to destroy the vortex. <laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. 
Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact with one another. But there is one small catch. If you cannot stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the device. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? Calm down. They should be stored in one of the security level A rooms on floor B3. Very good, Doc. Now you understand our situation. I've got the air card now. We live, you live. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I'm all set to whip up a program that will send a stream of third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices and overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Hold up. That whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs, including that T-Rex. Let's get this situation under control before charging off. Here, take this. You're gonna give me some this meds? This contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the devices. Don't be ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. We don't even know if all the right parts are there. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed devices. It's too dangerous down there. She won't make it. It's your call then, Regina. You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? Uh, I'm gonna go with Rick's strategy. It's your show, girl. I just hope you know what you're doing. Do whatever you want. Just don't fail. I won't fail. Hopefully. Right, you can build the initializer and stabilizer. So I'm there. 